So, uh, tetraprism is kind of the fancy word that, well, Apple has been uh, using for their new iPhone. So let's talk about it. What is a tetraprism lens? Uh, and what does it do? Is it useful? Uh, yeah, so basically, tetraprism is kind of a fancy word, right? It, it, it's something that um, only Apple would come up with, right? It's, it's just a word for something you don't really need a word for. However, um, on the iPhone 15 Pro Max specifically, um, there is a new 5X telephoto lens, and essentially a 5X lens is, is just kind of, um, it allows you to, to take pictures of closer up subjects without actually having to walk back and forth. Uh, and, and granted, you can usually get a pretty decent image just kind of walking back and forth. Um, however, if you do kind of want a, a little more versatility, I guess you could say, uh, well, that's where this lens comes from, right? You have an ultra wide, which gets a huge field of view. Um, and then you have the main camera, which is typically your main um, shooting lens, also typically the best lens. Uh, and then you have your telephoto. Now that is for closer up subjects. Some telephoto lenses can be 2x, you know, um, some can be 10x or uh, 100x Samsung. Uh, however, <laughs> Um, this one specifically on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a 5x telephoto lens. Now that means you press it and you can get a 5x um, optical quality shot uh, from your iPhone without really having to move. Now tetraprism itself is kind of something uh, that's worth discussing. Again, like I said, it's kind of a, it's a new name, right? It's something brand new. And, you know, typically Apple likes to, to name their things. But essentially, uh, this tetraprism lens is a trapezoid shape, right? It is a piece of glass that's kind of almost, if you know what the state of Tennessee looks like, it's very, very similarly shaped to Tennessee. I hope that's a trapezoid because otherwise I just kind of embarrass myself. Anyways, I'm pretty positive that's a trapezoid. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's kind of a... A, a rectangle but then kind of smushed on either side I don't know but essentially it reflects light four different times before making it to the lens now something that's always kind of what bothered me is there's not usually a consistent quality optical quality between the three cameras or however many cameras your phone has like the main camera is always gonna be number one right it's got the best um, aperture it, it accepts the most light typically it's the biggest sensor uh, and it's just kind of the camera you want to use um, and then cameras like for example the ultra wide uh, the ultra wide is it's kind of it does drop right it tends to be more noisy it tends to be less uh, accurate when it comes to colors especially in low light um, and then the telephoto for example is something that is also kind of hit or miss right in perfect light you know it's great but when it as soon as the light kind of dims down that sort of when uh we start to experience issues a little bit i guess you could say now here's the thing right you might be wondering well what are what are 5x shots good for you know if you're not a, a big camera nerd like i am and you just want to know like what would i use a 5x lens for now here's the thing it's good for portraits right because it's a bigger sensor because there's more zoom your subject in the photo is typically going to stand out more and then the background is just naturally going to be more blurred uh that's just kind of camera optics for you and of course you know there's a difference between camera optics and dslr optics um in well many different reasons but mainly it's just the fact that you cannot fit as big of a camera sensor in an iphone as you can a dslr camera right it's just not possible now, I've found myself using the 5X lens quite a lot for faraway objects, right? That's kind of its its main use case. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'll use it for people to get a nice extra ounce of blur alongside using portrait mode. But, you know, you can really use it for a lot of things, right? It Essentially, all it does is give your phone a higher range in how far it can zoom in while still retaining solid quality, right? That's really the whole purpose of, well, a telephoto lens in general. Okay, and lastly, um, I do realize last time I did sort of a comparison of devices, I completely left out any type of camera comparison. So um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna show a couple photos just that I've taken with this 5X lens and y'all can leave a comment, you know, tell me like how, like what you think of them. Um, granted they are just around my house, so it, it's kind of hard to grab, like I'm not gonna go take a picture of like a mountain view, right? Like I can't just go do that real quick. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll take some and, and just kind of let me know what you guys think. So there you have it. Um, that is the 5X telephoto lens on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It was just a little sneak peek, right? Just a, a couple little photos of what you can do. Um, obviously head down to your local Apple store if you don't have the device and just kind of play around with it. Uh, it can be a lot of fun. Um, but anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell as it helps me out a ton. Uh, and let me know if you guys want to see more of this camera related stuff you know I do have a lot of things I could make videos on that involve the camera so I'm looking forward to it so you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one so yeah bye guys